Well, over the next uh, six months, the economy is going to continue to shed jobs because it's simply going to take some time for the stimulus package to have some traction. In 2010, we can look forward to an economic recovery, growth at about 2.5%. Unfortunately, unemployment will peak at above 9% before it starts to come back down. The two things you want to look at, first, the stock market. The stock market will anticipate the recovery. Firms will start getting orders, and investors will realize that. They'll drive up stock prices. That will anticipate the recovery by a couple of months. Employment's a lagging indicator. The economy is going to pull out, people are going to start spending, GDP will lift, and then you'll see jobs come back. Initially, employers can use the workers they have to make more, and then when they're secure about the future, they'll start adding employees again. To do my work as an academic, I've enjoyed support from the Ford and Rockefeller Foundations and many other uh, charitable foundations, but in addition, I've had strong support from industrial companies throughout the country, our largest banks, and other service providers. I've worked with the airline industry, the steel industry, the automobile industry, uh, investment bankers, commercial bankers, uh, and I've worked with foreign governments as well. I've advised our government, so I, I have a varied experience in the private sector and with government, uh, which permit me to bring meaning and context that understand your needs and translate the economy for you. The stimulus package is going to have some effect. It'll probably create two to two and a half million jobs throughout the economy. It'll be in things like construction, government service, uh, retrofitting buildings for energy efficient uses, medical records, and so forth. However, it's really going to be throughout the economy, and it will likely deal with about half of the unemployment created by the recession. We've already lost four million jobs as of February. Uh, We've already lost four million jobs as of uh, March 1, and we'll likely lose five million jobs before things turn around. We absolutely had to have a stimulus package. It's one leg of the stool. The other two legs will be uh, turning the banks around, uh, dealing with uh, the fact that people can't get credit and the banks aren't on a sound footing, and finally dealing with the trade deficit, which comes down to us borrowing so much abroad because we, you know, uh, make so much less than we consume and our huge dependence on imported oil. Uh, those are the tougher challenges, the banks and the trade deficit, but they need to be addressed as well. Absolutely. Uh, psychology is a very important part of how markets work and how economies decline and turn around. Uh, during the recent recession, it's important to remember that the economy came apart and then consumers got pessimistic, not vice versa. But to get out of this mess, people are going to have to feel confident that things are getting better. Remember I talked about stock prices. Stock prices tend to anticipate, uh, stock prices tend to anticipate a recovery, which stock investors see as businesses becoming more confident about the future and less fearful of making investments and acquiring the things they need to sell more goods and services in the next quarter and beyond. We're going to have to come out, we are going to have to come out of this recession stronger. Uh, but the nature of recessions is it does tend to sort the weak from the strong, and the stronger companies are the ones that will survive and expand. It's not necessarily the largest companies, but it's those that are most nimble and those that are able to adjust to the changing economic conditions that we will have going forward. The economy five years from now is going to be very different than it was five years ago. We know it's going to be greener. We are probably going to be making more things here than we did before. Manufacturing will recover, but it won't necessarily be those manufacturers we grew up with. Uh, you don't have to be as large as General Motors to make things effectively. Uh, for example, in the era of the electric car, which is coming, it'll be possible for small manufacturers to get started again, because once we solve the battery problem, the electric car is inherently less difficult to build than an internal combustion car. Well, I'd be looking at my client base, who I sell to, and ask how they would be faring. My feeling is if you're a software provider, and you're, you should be looking at uh, energy technologies and ways to manage energy better because of all the winterization that's going to go on, uh, ways to assist the healthcare sector, because we know that's a priority in this administration. Uh, if you're in uh, machine tools or software, you'll be asking yourself, where will the manufacturing be that does take place in the United States? How can I get involved with solar panels or uh, uh, ethanol, what have you? You need to be looking to where the new markets are and how well your existing markets will hold up as the economy gradually changes. One of the things to remember is the U.S. economy is like a battleship. You don't just do a U-turn in the ocean, but it does change course. 
and you have to say, am I where that ship is heading? 